I'm Kerry Mullen and many people know my name from the sporting world. I was fortunate to be a two-time Olympian and a World Cup champion and I still hold the world downhill speed record in Kitzbühel, Austria for skiing 97 miles an hour, 151 kilometers an hour. And from that I learned a lot of things and while I was competing, not as many people know, but I also ran a successful real estate investment and development company. Many times people ask me, okay, you're a world-class athlete, how do you become a world-class developer? I had a vision of trying to find a place where my parents could retire, I'd want a vacation, and my kids would have fun. Not a retirement community, but a place where all three generations could come together and thrive and have fun. Swimming pools and kids go together, so they're entertained there. We're doing what we want to do, and we just make an investment along with it. This is his lifelong dream, and he has poured his heart and soul into it, and it shows. He won't quit till he gets there. That's what professional athletes do. I researched 30 different countries, traveled to 15 different countries, doing scouting trips, meeting with realtors, and looking at different factors. I actually compiled a list of 44 factors that were part of the decision. Kerry had taken five years to check out various locations around the world and finally decided on Puerto Escondido for very many good reasons. Kerry is such an upfront and honest individual that we decided that, you know, trust we have in what Kerry's doing. He's trustworthy, he's caring, he's a gentleman, he's professional, he's not a pushy salesman because he doesn't need to be. He wants for us what he would want for himself. And Kerry himself, I mean, you couldn't find a better role model. I just felt full confidence in him. This is his dream resort, so everything is top quality. We walked in the front door when everything was all done, and we had tears because we didn't know what we had done to deserve something so beautiful. I'm certainly a researcher and an analytic and strategic, and so with having my list of 44 factors written down and measuring different places and comparing them, and then I came here to Puerto Escondido, and after checking out the different phenomenal beaches that are here and meeting the locals, how friendly they are, how loving they are, it was not only logically based, but it was emotionally driven that this is the spot. This is where I want to be.